Welcome to the Lycée Alain Meyerisch. It's a pretty long and grey building, but inside it is filled with lots of life, learning and fun. The key principle of our school is to give our students roots as well as wings. The Lycée Alain Meyerisch does not just want to transmit knowledge, but also know-how, skills and values which we need in today's interconnected world. Take for instance the Challenge Project or DEFI. It is open to every student in their first year. The idea is to plan and put into practice your own personal project unrelated to school. This could be anything from building a model of the Eiffel Tower to teaching yourself how to play the piano. The challenge is not a must in our school, but most students have a go and quite a few make it to the end. Becoming autonomous, independent and responsible. Those are the key ideas of our school and many a student can recite those words in their sleep. However, they do sum us up rather well. So the most important thing of uh, teaching in Lycée in Meirisch is uh, to have a working together of our teachers, uh, thinking about common uh, methods and thinking about uh, strategies we have to implement in the classroom. So the main point would be to have all the teachers on board and have, uh, to have a debate on the school level. This concept is highly popular with many of our students and their parents. During the closing ceremony of our last défi, we took the opportunity to ask parents about their opinion on our school. For me, it's important that we can come here and come here. What is the uh, technique on uh, classic modern? I think it's very good. I'm going to profit from the opportunity to make a little bit of English English. Was formidabel ist, dass schon ein bisschen präpariert wird nächstes Jahr. Kinder sollen schon selbstständig äh, schaffen, äh, habe ich den Normalmann die über die Schule rausgehen. Mucha Partizipation de los profesores y de los alumnos también. And that they're, they're more integrated with, with the whole of Luxembourg society. Es ist schon ganz gut gemerkt, dass die zwei Kinder, weil sie schon ganz verschieden sind, wirklich äh, schiedfrieren, ob sie in der Weisheit gefordert werden. Und das fand ich extrem äh, flott. Und äh, auch für die Eltern möchte ich die, die sehr viel mehr einfach. On est souvent äh, demandé à participer äh, à des activités ici à l'école. Und das ist immer in Doh, einfach, wenn ein Problem hat. Und das fand ich wirklich super. Parents are a great asset to a school. They are experts in their professional domains in their jobs. On the other side, the way they discuss about school matters at home is very important for their children. But who does actually attend this school? There are around 1,300 students every year from the classical education system to the technical and modular classes. We have it all. The classic classes heavily outweigh the others, but nonetheless, we are very proud of our Prosi and modular classes. Due to them, we can offer great workshops such as wood carving, carpentry, welding and sewing. Apart from the usual lessons, the students of 3e to 1e use them in optional classes and there is quite a bright mixture of students and teachers who even use these workshops to work on their skills in after-school clubs. Our sports section is extremely dynamic and active and very popular with our students. At lunchtime or after school, we can do all kinds of fun stuff. Play football or rugby, fencing, even skiing is an offer here. Hold on, this is, however, no paradise. Mobbing is often a problem in Setiam or Sesiam classes all over the country, and so it is here. That is why we have our mediation team, a group of very dynamic teachers and students who have been trained especially to help, inform, but also support and mediate in conflicts. Solidarity amongst humankind is a topic that is very close to our hearts. Students and parents regularly organize bake sales to raise money and support students who are less well off. But solidarity does not stop at our doorstep, it extends much further. In fact, our current solidarity project supports young women in India. We are regularly in touch with them and there are lots of questions on both sides. Although we are in touch all year round, the highlight is clearly our Journée de la Solidarité, the Solidarity Day in December. That day there are no lessons, but everybody is busy cooking, 
baking, making, and selling things to raise money for a project in India, and it's well worth it. Beforehand, raise a total of no less than 20,000 euros every year. Autonomy and solidarity are concepts our students cherish and live. A few years ago, some students founded the Just Group, the Youth Solidarity Organization. These are older students who organize all kinds of events to promote the concept of solidarity throughout the school. Student autonomy is also practiced on an everyday basis in the classroom. One highlight, however, is clearly the school trip that students are asked to organize themselves from scratch in Troisième. To reduce the cost, they often raise money with car washes or selling roses. It is not just a holiday, though. Every class has to present their plans and educational input to the director. Once you're in Deuxième, the second last year, things get a bit more serious and you're introduced to the world of business and entrepreneurship as the students specializing in economics go for their own mini-company. This year's company came up with Lani. The best example of our students' autonomy is probably our big music event, Music in Motion. The stage is open to all kinds of musical and dance performances. Especially the so-called music classes can show off their talents here. A few years back, those music classes were introduced for students who commit a lot of their free time to music or dance. Those pupils are now given the chance to stay in the same class with like-minded peers from Satyam to Katriam, and their teachers try to link their learning to music whenever they can, be it in languages or math. We can't go without a mention of our drama society. They were even invited to perform their show, Superheroes, on the stage of the famous Théâtre des Capucins. We know, sometimes it is hard to get us, the computer kids, to pick up a real book again. Our language teachers therefore regularly invite authors to come along to discuss their work with us. They often fill our students with enthusiasm. It is simply cool to meet those people. When the European Commission organized an exhibition for young people and asked us to do the opening night in our school, we were delighted to say yes. Luxembourg's Minister of Foreign Affairs attended the ceremony and he was very happy to discuss current issues and conflicts with us. In fact, we regularly host such events or debates and the American and German ambassadors, as well as Vivian Reiding, Claude Thomas and Etienne Schneider have all been our guests in the past. It is important to our school that students do not just learn from books, but that they go outside and experience things. One such experience, which we respect and appreciate, is the trip to Auschwitz. Every year, there is a group of students who get to know more about these terrible atrocities from a survivor on the premises. Working together for a better world, that is another key aspect of our school, be it in the classroom or by participating at international events such as the Model European Parliament. At this MEP, around 200 students learn how members of Parliament really work and live democracy. This is a lot of hard work, but also a lot of fun. We are also proud members of the UNESCO Network for Schools. And we are part of Microsoft Partners in Learning a network of 1,000 schools which cooperate worldwide. Due to our experience in the use of IT technologies in the classroom, we have even reached the status of mentor school. We have four domains that are very, very important. The first one uh, speaks about the social skills. The second one is IT technologies. Today you have to organize your activities beyond the classroom. Learning must take place not only in the lessons of 50 minutes, but uh, has to take place uh, outside, at home, anywhere, anytime. The third one uh, is sustainable learning. And the fourth one would be to open the school to politics, uh, to science, to literature, and so on. That is also the parents' wish. A little more engagement with the English university system would be great. A little bit more of a, an international flavour would, would be helpful. What I can do with that is that I can't do it so long, that it's a hard school, a hard school, a hard school, a hard We couldn't agree more, so off we went and pimped the schoolyard ourselves. 
After all, we are autonomous and independent.